The Wake County Board of Commissioners recently toured the South Wake Landfill's Gaster Energy Facility in Apex. This gas collection and control system opened in September of 2013 to create energy to power homes and industry services. The methane gas produced by biodegradable materials in the landfill is collected and converted into electrical power. The power is then sold to Duke Energy, with Wake County receiving 22% of the gross revenues. Joining us to talk about this important project is John Robertson, Wake County's Solid Waste Management Director. Thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here. Uh, John, can you first tell us a little bit about how this project was all developed? Sure. Uh, we opened the South Wake Landfill in 2008. That was after closing the North Wake Landfill. And from having done this before, we recognized that shortly after developing a landfill, landfill gas will come about. So we started about in 2009 the process of starting two projects. One was to create a collection and control system for the landfill gas. And basically by control, we would basically burn that gas. And it helps control odors, help control uh, environmental damage just by burning that gas. Ultimately, that appears wasteful. So uh, the other project we started at the same time was an idea of, which is fairly becoming more and more common in the United States and, and around the world, of uh, doing a gas to energy project. Uh, we issued RFPs, uh, requests for proposals to a number of firms. We received seven proposals. Um, so uh, there were a number of firms very interested in this project. We ultimately shortlisted to two or three, or actually three, and then reduced down to two from there. And, um, and in 2011, um, came to a 2010 and 11 came to the conclusion of selecting Ingenco for doing that work, who is a, a firm out of Richmond, Virginia. Now, a little quick science project uh, question. H how is the gas produced in, in, la in landfills? Yeah, you, you touched on it in your intro about biodegradable. Um, as you know, when people throw away their trash, included in that trash are a lot of biodegradable items. Um, your food waste, uh, your um, uh, any paper waste, any anything that is biodegradable in your waste. Uh, uh, then once it gets into the landfill environment, oxygen is reduced. Uh, it, it begins a process of converting uh, a, or creating a landfill gas, of which typically about 50% is methane of the gas that's produced. So, so when you have 50% methane uh, included in that, that gas stream, that's obviously an energy potential energy source. Is there a figure as the amount of gas that can be produced from a landfill such as Southway? Yeah, the, the, the uh, Environmental Protection Agency has all sorts of calculations and standards about how much a landfill can, can generate. It really just depends on what gets thrown away in that landfill. And, and our landfill is primarily a municipal solid waste landfill, so basically it's household waste from, from people, um, which is actually an ideal source for making landfill gas. Um, so we've been in operation since 2008 here it is in early 2000, mid 2014, uh, and uh, that landfill, we are able to capture um, about uh, 13 to 1400 standard cubic feet per minute. It converts to millions of cubic feet in a day, and, and those sorts of things. So, uh, so we are collecting a significant amount of gas. Now that that gas will grow over time um, as the landfill grows. We will expand our collection system to collect more. Uh, we believe that peak is in the five to 6,000 um, CFM in the future, but right now we're at about the, the 12 to 1,400. Can you describe just how the gas is collected and ultimately passing through in Jinko, uh machinery and then head yeah. on to Duke? Certainly. Um, we have wells that are basically installed into the landfill. So if you imagine a, a large mound of trash, it gets covered every day with soil or, or some uh, appropriate cover mechanism. Um, but we drill these wells into that waste. Uh, those wells have slots in them and we have solid piping that goes back to a blower flare station. That, that blower basically is putting negative pressure or suction, um, sort of like a vacuum cleaner does. Uh, on those wells and basically extracts that landfill gas out of that hill. Um, once we receive that in, through the blower, it basically we have two choices. It can be sent to the flare, which is basically a big, for lack of another term, candlestick that's up in the air that we can light and basically burn the gas as we did the first couple of years that that system was operational. 
what we're doing now primarily, and really over 99% of the time, instead of sending it to the flare, we're sending this gas to Ingenco. And uh, basically, the, the, it goes through another set of pipes to Ingenco. And in their facility, they basically take the landfill gas, which I mentioned earlier is about 50% methane, mixing a small amount of number two fuel oil, which is basically diesel, um, probably in the two to four percent by volume. Uh, they mix that in a proprietary piece of equipment that they've developed uh, and um, take that into a diesel, effectively large diesel truck engine, um, basically burn that landfill gas and number two fuel oil and basically on the back side of that are able to generate electricity just as your car or truck engine does. They capture that energy um, and basically through transformers and those sorts of things send it back to, uh, to Duke Progress and uh, Duke is uh, able to take that um, electricity and it's used by primarily those electrons created at our site are used by people in the Holly Springs Apex area. Why is this project such a good deal for the taxpayers of Wake County? Really, it's, it's a good deal on so many different fronts. Um, first, on the environmental side, you know, we're getting rid of a, a negative byproduct of a landfill. Uh, this methane gas is, is potentially very harmful to the environment from a, from a uh, um, greenhouse gas perspective. So we're destroying that, that harmful uh, uh, piece uh, environmentally. Um, on a odor perspective, we're dealing with an odor issue. Landfills create odor, methane gas, or, or the components of methane gas can be odor, malodorous, and uh, we're able to destroy that. And then just on the economic side, um, between the jobs that Ingenco creates by their, their bu business being there, and then on top of that, the creation of that energy and the, and the, the economic benefit that the county receives from that. We're, we're, it makes us, gives us the ability to improve our facilities, uh, whether it be at the landfill or it be some of our other solid waste facilities around the county. John Robertson, Wake County's Solid Waste Management Director, thank you so much for being here. Glad to be here.